Hello, in this video we're briefly going to introduce the law of cosines and do an example. So the law of cosines says that in any triangle ABC, so here A, B, and C are angles, with sides little a, little b, and little c, we have the following formulas, and these formulas are really not that hard to memorize, so I'm gonna explain um, a nice way to memorize these. The first one says that a squared is equal to, and so what you do now is you square the other sides, so b squared plus c squared, and there's always a minus two, and then you multiply the other sides, so bc, and then times the cosine of the angle opposite little a, so cosine of big A. Let me show you another one. So this one's b squared. Same pattern, you square the other ones, so it'll be a squared plus c squared. And then it's minus, and then there's a two, and then you multiply these ac times, and again, it'll be cosine of the angle opposite little b, it'll be cosine of big B. Then the last one is c squared equals, you square the other ones, so a squared plus b squared, minus 2ab this time, because you multiply them, times the cosine of the angle opposite little c, which is big C. So these are the formulas uh, for the law of cosines. Very, very uh, useful. Um, they come up a lot in trig, well now at least, and they do come up uh, in other areas of math sometimes, so um, if you ever forget them, it's good to reference them, um, but again, they're very, very easy to memorize. Okay, so let's go ahead and do just a simple example here, just to show you um, how to use these. So let's go with the picture, I'm gonna draw a little picture here, so uh, here we have A, and then here we have uh, C, and then over here we have B, and okay, we have a triangle here. And here we know that little c is equal to 11, let's say, and here little b is equal to, whoops, little b is a little bit equal to five, okay? And let's say we know that this is 52 degrees. And here's little a. And the question here is to find a, so find little a. Okay, so let's go ahead and do it. And we can do it with the law of cosines, right? So we know that a squared is equal to, and again, you square the other ones, so b squared plus c squared, minus two, and then you multiply them, bc, times the cosine of the angle opposite little a. Okay, so square the other ones, minus two times, then multiply them, then times the cosine of the angle that's opposite of this side here. And now you just plug everything in, right? So it'll be a squared equals five squared plus 11 squared minus two times five, little b was five, and little c is 11. Then we have cosine of, uh, what was it, 52 degrees. And just make sure you're in degrees in your calculator. You put this in your calculator you'll get a squared equals uh, roughly roughly 78.277. You take the square to both sides, you do get a plus or minus, however, um, you can't have a negative length, so it's just the plus. That's square root, 78, square root of 78.277, which is approximately 8.9. And they didn't really give us units in the problem, so, I'll omit the units, but yeah, pretty simple formula. Um, you can use this together uh, with the law of sines to solve triangles sometimes, um, but that's how you use the law of cosines. Good luck.